Now, we're going to get into physics 401. We're going to get into advanced physics. If you're in the aircraft industry, aerospace industry, or get on the internet and check out Bernoulli's law about wind. On an airplane wing, it's made flat here, it's curved. What it does is when that wind spits here, this wind actually speeds up. It doesn't stay the same speed as this wind. This wind's running flat, this wind's running faster, and they meet at the back point at the same time. The wind that's coming over the top versus the bottom meets at the same time. It's Bernoulli's principle of aerodynamics, of wind volume, that even though the surface is displaced, the speed is increased, and what that does is creates lift. So the wind's coming over the front of our boat, coming underneath our boat. As it's coming over it, it's actually creating lift to lift our boat, to make it easier for that outboard to push the boat forward instead of creating lift underneath. And we'll get into a later segment more in depth inside about why Skeeter has a superior design with the torque transfer system to help in that lifting phase of the boat, uh, transferring torque of the boat. But in this segment we're going to talk about aerodynamics and wind principles. The other thing is you look, if you look at this FX boat our nose is pointed downhill just a little bit. What that allows that to do is that wind to break through, to break that wind, to make it aerodynamic. It keeps that front end from creating too much lift and holds that nose down in a more aerodynamic phase. If you look at a boat and you trim it up like this, what's happening here? Creating drag. Drag is bad for boat performance. So what we do is we turn that nose down, splits that wind, and allows it to travel over the boat, creating lift, and we'll show you back here on the sponsons where that error is coming back and that point of entry and Bernoulli's principle of law. Go look it up on the internet. It affects boats, it affects cars, automobiles, trains, planes, everything about aerodynamics. Everybody wonders why Skeeter is one of the only ones that has sponsons? Well, one of the reasons we're patented. We have a lot of patents in the back end of this boat. But the other, the big reason is, is the air flows across here. The air coming under creates that Bernoulli's principle of law that helps lift the boat. And when we get into the pad configurations, you'll understand that air is flowing underneath here. And it's flowing underneath here. And that air is flowing across here. This air is accelerated as the air comes under here because it's a flatter surface, but it's meeting here at the same time from where they were split on the front of the boat. So our air is coming back, creating lift, creating that aerodynamics that race cars are made of. I mean, NASCARs, Indy cars, Indy cars are probably the prime example because they are the ultimate design vehicle to maximize energy to go fast. And that's what we want to do in a boat. We want to go fast, but we want to do it with the most efficiency. The faster your boat's designed, the smoother rounded curves is going to make your boat more aerodynamic, allows it to go faster down the lake, it's basic physics. We ain't getting into rocket science here, but we do have some of those guys as our engineers on our boats. Most of the engineers at Skeeter Bass Boats come from the aerospace industry. And that's where we get a lot of this advanced technology that nobody else is using because of aerospace engineering, CAD CAM design, designed on a computer. The FX boat here we're looking at was totally designed 100% on the computer to match that SHO motor and to maximize speed and performance which uses less fuel because the fuel 
is being burned to go faster, which allows you to get, if you're going 60 mile an hour versus 70 on the same amount of fuel, you're going to go 10 miles an hour further in a more aerodynamic boat. That's, that's basic physics. It's no smoke and mirrors here, ladies and gentlemen. It's all about aerodynamics. One of the other areas of curvature is look at our consoles. Our, curve, our consoles are nice and round. Designed for aerodynamics. -y. The other thing, here it's, it's rounded. There's, there's one other principle of rounding corners. If you look at the edges here are rounded, the bottoms are rounded. All this fiberglass is rounded. It's a lot stronger and less prone for cracks and resistance. We're going to look at thickness of boats, and we're going to talk about flotation in all these videos. But the roundness of the boat here helps resist cracks. If we look at Skeeter, they round the edges to help prevent crazing and cracking in your gel coat to keep make your boat last longer and stay pretty longer and stay sexy. That is all fundamentally designed in this boat by the Skeeter engineers. We're even going to look inside the boat. If you notice, this is rounded all through here. Same thing, if you look around inside the boat, you'll see that, curvature, that constant curvature. Look at, our, look at our Skeeter box here. It's rounded here. That's rounded for strength. If you have an impact here, you know, somebody falls down on here, they're not going to damage the boat. The other thing is, is it reduces that crazing and cracking because it's totally rounded. We'll just scan around in here. Let's look at all the places around it. We're rounded around here. We're rounded on our rod ramp down here. Rounded up here. Consoles rounded over there. The corners rounded in here. It's rounded underneath there. That side's rounded over there. I hope that helps you learn a little bit more about the curvature. There's one last thing. If you look at where these two sides of the boat meet, they don't meet straight up and down. If you put force against this, it's going to break. Where Skeeter sides meet, actually meet at an angle. That same principle of strength from the arch technology we talked about earlier in proof, Pushing against this is going to be harder, and these boats meet from here to here at an angle to create strength here. That's one of the great things about Skeeter engineers. They think ahead for you and I, so our boats last a lot longer. I'm glad you tuned in to another set of tips and tricks, and I hope that explained a little bit more about Skeeter engineering, Skeeter technology, and why they do things the way they do. We know we have the sexiest bass boat, Look at myself. I'm a sexy guy in a sexy bass boat. So check out Skeeter Bass Boats the next time you're at a boat show. Get in there and look around and look at what makes boats different. I mean, get underneath, get inside, and we're going to show you why we think Skeeter Bass Boats are the best bass boat on the market for your money. And just like their slogan, engineered like no other. This boat here, the FX, the I-Class, the fishing skis, the bay boats, the multi-species boats are all designed for a reason. With advanced engineering, advanced technology to make the best bass boat, fishing boat, bay boat, fishing ski on the market, check out Skeeter Boats. And thank you and tune in next time to another set of tips and tricks with Doug Varnberg.